Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, I'm Stylist Lee, and I'm gonna be showing you how I do micro links on natural hair, so keep watching. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Let's talk about what you guys are here for. I know what you're here for. You're here for the micro links. You're here for the thing that everybody's been talking about, the crave, the love, I know it. So we are actually doing some micro links on natural hair today. Before we get into this, before we get into this, I want you guys to understand that it's very important that you receive a consultation with your salon professional. I don't care what city you're in. If your salon professional is licensed and she is skilled in microlinks, she's most likely going to want to see your hair before she does any extensive work on your hair service. So, and I also want to kind of talk about the difference between microlinks and braidless installations because I get a lot of emails and a lot of inqu inquiries in regards to receiving microlinks and I think people don't really have a full understanding exactly what microlinks is. A real microlink service which is a strand by strand service. I'm going to zoom this in. Excuse my ashy hands because I washed my hands and I didn't lotion them. So don't judge me. Um, I'm going to zoom this in. And this is links. So these are my traditional micro links. And later in this video, I'm going to show you the difference between traditional micro links and my seamless micro links. This is. This one right here, the blonde one, is my seamless microlink. Over here is my traditional microlinks. It's a big difference. Now, neither one of these microlink services are bad. Only difference is one lays more flatter to the head versus the traditional microlinks. The reason why the traditional microlinks don't lay as flat to the head is because it's one thicker but it accommodates more hair in the link. When doing um, curly or natural hair micro links, they have to make the links a little bit bigger in order to put all that hair compacted in that link so you guys can get the density and the fullness that you guys are looking for. So those are the that's the only thing that's different. They are applied exactly the same. One of the benefits cost-wise um, with the natural hair girls who get micro links, I don't use as many links as I do with the seamless links. Only reason is because these traditional micro links carry more hair in the link because they are thicker versus with the seamless micro link there's only so many follicles in one in one link so it requires me to use more links in uh, a client's head. I typically use between um, 150 to 200 links versus with the seamless micro links, I typically use 250 to 300 links um, depending on the client's circumference of her head and her density in length and so forth. However, I'm going to move on to just basically show you guys the links that we're going to be using today. This is 16 inches. And this did not come this color, by the way. This comes in a natural black. I custom colored this for my client today because when we install these, her hair is already colored. And I want to make sure that I kind of keep the sequence of what her real hair looks like. So we're going to be alternating between brown, blonde, brown, blonde, brown, blonde. And it's basically a full customization on where I'm going to be placing those colors at, which is a great benefit to wearing microlinks and a lot of people love wearing microlinks because even if her hair wasn't colored, I could still add colored hair to her hair and it'll still give her a nice fun dimension of colors and make it look really natural. Some great components to know when getting uh, microlink services. I do not recommend this for all hair types. As you guys know, hair comes in all different curl patterns, all different densities, and you don't want to conflict any more complications on someone's hair than they need. So for example, if I have someone with very, very, very coily hair, very thick, very dense, I don't want to apply little bitty links throughout their head because more than likely their hair is going to take over that link and it's a strong possibility that their hair can dread around that link, making it even more complicated to remove it. And when coming down to maintenance, it can be really, really hard. So you don't want to put on any more stress than you are supposed to. Because keep in mind, 
when we're getting extensions done, extensions are supposed to be fun. It's an enhancer. We don't want it to be a, a cause of effect. So we want to enhance the look. We want to make the hair look even more beautiful than what it already does. So this is why it's important to get a consultation before getting micro lengths done. You want to make sure that the client is a good candidate for the micro lengths. You want to be able to see the client's hair texture, curl pattern, to see if that's a good fit for her. And if not, suggest her a service that is a good fit for her. And I can't wait for you guys to see this, by the way, because this is gonna be bomb. Currently, right now, the Curly Hair Microlinks is not available on my website. However, I am accepting invoices. If you guys are interested in receiving Curly Hair Microlinks or you're interested in seeing the pricing, I will not be answering questions below the video on how much is it, where can I do it. You need to send an email over and I will send you over what's in inventory and what's the cost. Keep in mind, I am working on limited supply because it is currently selling out really fast and a lot of people are wanting micro links, especially because it's the summertime. People are wanting micro links and they want that freedom of doing what they want to do. So it is limited supply. So, but if you are interested, I can send you over an invoice and once paid, I can ship it out to you and you can have your curly hair micro links right away. But keep in mind, before you go purchasing curly hair micro links, I would suggest you get a consultation first with your salon professional then purchasing hair if that is what your salon professional suggests. Some salon professionals like myself, I require you to come through me to get your hair because I know what size lengths that I have that's customized per my hair. So keep that in mind when um, purchasing hair too as well. Another thing that I want to address with you guys today is the difference between micro links and braidless installation. Now, I have a video out right now of my braidless installation, which is done with wefted hair in micro links, and I'm going to attach that video right here. Now, I want you guys to understand this. The video that I'm attaching right here, that service took me approximately two and a half to three hours to do. When you're getting a micro link service, that service takes about six to eight hours to do. Those are two different services requiring two different amount of time. Okay? So, people always inquire about oh I want micro links but what they're really asking for is the braidless installation because when I hit them with that price they're not really understanding why the price is what it is you have to keep in mind that micro links take six to eight hours to do and braidless installations take two and a half to three hours to do so it's a big difference in time frame and also cost so typically depending on where you're at for a braidless installation with wefted hair that can take um that can cost you about 250 dollars to 375 dollars just depending on your geographics and for individual who's wanting micro links that the cost can cost you between 900 dollars to up to three thousand dollars it just once again it depends on geographically where you're at the skill set and the experience of the salon professional that you're going to so these are all things to keep in mind when receiving microlink services but enough with the chitter chatter i know what you guys are here for you want to see the before picture of my client you want to see what this after is going to look like you want to see the installation process you just want to see all the gritty stuff so i'm going to stop talking i'm going to guy i'm going to show you guys the before we start installing keep in mind i'm always starting on clean conditioned hair i like to treat all my clients before any extension service and um i hope you guys like the video if you guys have questions feel free to leave comments below and let's get